The conference has been really good. It's been a uh, it's been a joy to see what's happening in Asia and uh, seeing how well people are progressing with everything. I've had a great time and learned a bunch of stuff. So. Well, um, this is my first time at uh, Built Asia and first time in Singapore. I think it was a great experience uh, this week. There were a lot of great classes, both from uh, local presenters. So I learned a lot about what goes on in Singapore with the city, the city modeling while I was here. Um, but also great to see you know the presence of all kind of vendors here. I mean we. we came as the Global Platinum sponsor and Autodesk and you know you guys from Enscape it's great to see you here and all the other vendors we saw so I think it was a really good show for everybody who came. I decided to attend to see what the rest of the industry is doing learn about new tools and methods of collaboration um, such as Enscape um, and then also just to see what the rest of our competitors clients are you know what they're trying to expect and understand from us what are some of the things that we can do to work better over the rest of our consultants and also see what the future holds in terms of, you know, other software offerings. Meeting lots of people and uh, lots of interesting people. Yeah. I think there's a concentration of like experts and interesting stuff in such a small space and in so few days that was really worth it. What is some key learning um, that you had here? Uh, I think we need to define a better set of expectations for what we want from each of the partners involved in the industry, whether it's clients, whether it's our consultants, um, and then whether it's amongst ourselves. Uh, just being able to see um, how a whole a, a full city model comes together and all the different uh, methods of reality capture and reviving old documents um, and just combining all this information into a coherent model was a really interesting thing. Uh, of course, VR is a, uh, like, I think it's a must be a free uh, future machine. And once you uh, show the clients, you not only show the client sections, 3D views, but you show them how they look really feel in the real space. There was a brilliant class by Jay Zalan. It was about uh, the crazy stuff that people do. Okay. And that take lots of persistence to do it and how to take that persistence and turn it into something brilliant. And I think that's a really good concept, how to take what's good in people yeah. and uh, kind of use it. Um, can you give us some insights about how you use real-time rendering? Uh, so one of the things that we do is allow people that are not using Revit to actually get involved with their models. So as a project manager, I'm not going to sit down and start to learn to use Revit. But okay. if I can do an executable video that I can send and then tell them, walk through this and look at it and tell me what you see that's not correct. They don't need Navisworks for that. And really yeah. early on in design, it can help us to figure out what's right and what's wrong, and then we can fix it. We okay. use it a lot because it's, it's filling a gap in our workflow. We already have like a visualization team, and we're really satisfied with, with them. But we need, some, we need a tool that can let us achieve a fast visualization. And we still need a high quality while we are getting this fast visualization. Okay. Escape for this reason is the perfect tool because you don't have to uh, do any more work on your Revit model. You just set up materials, you use the assets, and it will, your model will be ready. You don't need to assign any material, but you can get a rendered uh, generic model, right model, which is really helpful for designers. Because before you make decisions, you can still like show the clients what the space looks like. Uh, when I get asked about what's the best solution for these uh, real-time rendering solutions, I ask people what their pro problem they're trying to solve. And for a lot of people, they're trying to replace their traditional rendering workflow, and Enscape's the absolute go-to choice for me for that. It's very easy to use, it's very intuitive, it works very well for small firms in particular that don't have the resources to uh, have a dedicated rendering guy. Uh, it's a bit of a no-brainer, and it's good value. Thanks for watching this video and visiting our booth in Singapore. We're now traveling home back to Germany. We hope to see you soon in Adelaide in Australia. In the meantime, be sure to download our free trial from our webpage and give it a run with your Revit or SketchUp project. We hope to see you soon. Goodbye.